Hello, uh, I'm very sad not to be here with you tonight. I wish I could be here. Uh, I want to say to you a few words about my film. Um, it's, uh, it came from my fascination from space, uh, from my childhood. It was, I knew nothing about it, but it was a poetical attraction. And I decided to investigate that world. I went to Cologne, where there is the European Space Agency, and I met some astronauts, some trainers, and uh, the more I met people, the more I realized that all of those prepar this preparation, those efforts of the astronauts to leave uh, the Earth, it's something you never see in films. And uh, because in films, usually it's uh, five minutes on Earth, and uh, shit happens in space. But in real life, shit happens on Earth. And, um, and most of the time, astronauts uh, stay on Earth and don't leave. Um, and then I wanted to investigate something I know very well, which is the relationship between the mother and the daughter. And uh, it's something I know because, of course, I'm a daughter and I have the, um, a daughter of the, of the age of the film, and she's 10 now and uh and so yes that was proxima this uh, uh this two things and um so i wish you a very good screening and uh and i won't be there after for the q a but i will answer again a few questions alice could you explain the audience the choice of eva green for the for the part okay eva green i will i have always been fascinated by her uh, I think she has. She's a kind of space person in a way. Uh, she says herself that she comes from another planet, and uh, also I think it's not a coincidence that she has been in so many Tim Burton's movie. Um, and at the same time, she's a kind of Amazon that she has this strength. And uh, I thought it was cool to show a mother that is not like the typical mother Dolorosa to see another kind of mother, and. Uh, and to see this Amazon, how she deal with this little girl. And, and, and she did a lot of training. Uh, she had to train at the, at the Russian Space Agency. Uh, she had to train uh, with real astronauts. And uh, <clears throat> also she had to learn to speak different languages, to speak uh, English with a French accent, which was very difficult for her. And also she had to also, she did a lot of rehearsals with the little girl because she's not a mother herself. But I thought it was great for the part because she was trying to be this perfect mother, uh, trying to have the perfect gestures. And I could really relate to that feeling of not being um, right. Um, also, can you explain, because you, you, you've shot in the real locations, right? It was the first time I think. Yeah, we shot uh, in places that were never shown in any film, that were never filmed, so it was really exciting and uh, it was a great, uh, I mean, we did, we did a lot of work to get the authorizations, um, of course, because it's, uh, it's space centers, it's like military bases, there is checkpoints you have to cross. Also, we went to Kazakhstan to shoot a real, the launch you see in the film is a real launch we have shot uh, um, on this cosmodrome, uh, so it was at the same time at the same time very hard to be on locations, uh, but it was also very inspiring. Uh, for example, we were shooting in Prophylaxorium, which is the building where all the astronauts live in Star City, which is this uh, uh, city where astronauts live uh, one hour and a half from Moscow, and there was that guy. Uh, who is a very famous Italian um, astronaut, Luca Parmitano, and he was a very, very great fan of Eva Green. And he was training in this center when we were shooting, and when he saw her in the corridor, I thought he, he, he was uh, about to faint, that he was like so surprised to see her because he was in love with her. Uh, so there was like moments that were, we had a lot of fun, but at the same time, yeah. It was uh, inspiring for actors, uh, Madeleine also, uh, who was there also, uh, talked a lot with astronauts. So, yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I have a question for the for the scriptwriter because at some point, you know, the mother she went to as she's in quarantine, quarantine, 
she escapes uh, from the quarantine to, to see the dolphins. It seems very unrealistic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, but it's true. As uh, m most of the time, I made a point. <laughs> no, but most of the time, like uh, like things that are the more true are the less believable. And actually, there's a real astronaut, uh, um, Annalie Fisher, who was the reference for um, uh, for. Um, okay, I will find the. For the character. For the character, yeah, and uh, and she escaped herself from quarantine um, for Halloween to to do trick or treats with her daughter, and then she came back to quarantine. And so quarantine, you you have to know what it is. I mean, uh, it's not a prison. <laughs> You're not supposed to escape from quarantine, of course. But if there is guard, it's it's more like to protect astronauts from journalists <laughs> <laughs> more than a prison. And uh, so, yes, a lot of astronauts have escaped from quarantine. Um, last thing about the idea of, of the character, you know, the starting point of the character, you want to build a kind of a superheroine and, uh, as well as a mother, um, a combination of these two figures. Yeah, um, because uh, Proxima uh, is a story of liberation. It's uh, really, uh, you see how difficult it is for women, but you see it's possible. And um, of course, it is harder for women for many reasons. Uh, they have to adapt to a world that have been thought by men for men. For example, uh, those spacesuits they are wearing, uh, they are more heavy on shoulders because men are stronger on shoulders, but women are stronger on hips. Uh, they have also uh, yes, to, 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 do, to do things, to prove they are capable, to do the same task of men and a little more to prove they are credible in that kind of job. So, but what I wanted to show was a super herring that is also a mother, because in films usually you see those herrings have no children, but in real life women are herrings and they have children. I think if script writers don't want to, like, it's difficult, like, to have a children that divert them from their missions but that's what we do and uh, so i think it was interesting to show this unshown part of a and uh, the story that wasn't told thank you very much thank you and have a good evening